too. How much fun is it for you as a wide receiver when cases are like airing them out to y'all like that? Does it make it more fun for you guys in the game? Yeah, I mean, I think any of our wideouts will tell you it's fun when you get the ball. It's fun when Cleese is distributing it. So, uh, especially in a game like that when we're throwing for 500 yards and everyone's getting touches, uh, everyone's scoring touchdowns, it's, it's always fun. It's always you know, good to get in the end zone with your brothers and see them have success too. So, um, it, w it was a very unique game uh, in terms of, you know, scoring like that. So, uh, definitely fun to play in. I'm sure you've already been asked about this, but Marquise and Elijah said that when they saw the first play, what it was going to be, that they were very excited. It was hard to kind of keep the excitement in. What was your reaction when you saw what the play was going to be? And then when you broke open, you realized that they played right into your hands. Yeah, you know, we I told Lee earlier, we had that. It's been the second time we've come into a game with that play call. Uh, we just happened to check out of it because the defense wasn't in the look. So when I saw on the field that they were in it, um, you know, I, I, you don't really have time to think about anything. You just think about what you've done in practice and what you've repped over the week. So it was routine. And, and once I saw that safety safety bite down, <laughs> I was like, wow, <laughs> this actually worked. So uh, it was it was really neat to start the game off like that and um, obviously got everybody going too. There have been times when you've been wide open, other guys have been wide open, Marquise doesn't always get it to you. It seems like the last few weeks, it's right to you. He's been really sharp on the long balls. Yeah, you know, Quiz has hit his stride. Um, you know, same same as last year when you know when the pressure's on, you know, that's when Quiz tends to perform at his best. And um, you know, he, he he doesn't have the the greatest mechanics. He doesn't have um, you know the best arm, but Quiz is a, a playmaker. And when the ball needs to get to a certain place, he can put it there. Uh, it's, he's just a gamer. Um, so he's definitely hit a stride in the past couple weeks and is playing as well as any quarterback in the country. Is it kind of unique that Miami, having been what they've been through the last few weeks with that loss to Clemson and the coach getting fired, they're still in contention in this division. And they know that coming up here, if they could beat you guys and you guys lose again, they went out, they actually win the division. Is that kind of a really unique situation that you haven't really seen before? Or what do you guys think about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's unique in the sense that, you know, usually when a, a team's coach gets fired, you know, either they lay down or, um, you know, they're, they've become completely out of it. And I think that says a, a lot about the guys that they have on the team, you know, that they can handle their coach getting fired and, and continue to, to play good football. Um, they're actually playing better football than, than they were, you know, with him at, at the helm. So we know this is a dangerous Miami team coming in. They've lost uh, the games they've lost have been to some really good teams. and. Obviously, played Florida State really well, so uh, we're not taking anything for granted, certainly. We know that Miami's whooped us the past two years, last year especially, so uh, it's essential that we have a good week of practice and uh, you know, make sure that we match you know, their intensity um, Saturday.